Begin tonight with a story you will only see here on Action 2 News. Tonight at 5, our Brittany Schmidt will introduce you to a Green Bay police officer who averted tragedy and was able to deliver help to a person in a critical moment. Brittany joins us now to preview this story. So what are we going to see tonight at 5? First, I want to talk about the 988 National Suicide and Crisis Hotline. Okay. That is what you call if you are struggling and you need help now. The story that you're about to see tonight, it is hard to see. So there is a warning. Um, you're going to see a police officer who was just starting his shift getting out on the motorcycle and a call came in for a critical incident on the Leo Frago Bridge. Okay. Um, he sprinted there, lights and siren on his motorcycle, got there, and there is a person who is having a, is going through a crisis. You hear the officer talk to this person, um, communicate with them, helps de-escalate the situation and then get this person the help that they need here locally. Okay, so we hear it. I'm assuming we also see, see it, it with the body cam footage there. So mm -hmm. in these moments, training has to kick in. So it what does. kind of training did this officer receive that he was able to utilize? So he's been an officer with the department for four years and they go through ongoing mental health, behavior, crises, trainings throughout the entire course. But he went through and um, it's certainly called an intervention certificate course. It's okay. 40 hours and they go through, it's a national thing. Um, they learn about active listening and you'll hear that in the, in the body camera footage. Active listening, de-escalation techniques, um, handling heightened emotions, dealing with your own heightened emotions. The officer I talked to said, yeah, he was nervous, right? Um, they talk about a little bit about being a human, right. right? You lead with empathy, you lead with understanding. And that's exactly what you see. And it, they talk about just the ongoing training that officers get and the, ne ne the necessity of it as yeah, well. No question, <laughs> never more uh, visibly yeah. evident than what we're gonna see tonight mm -hmm. at five o'clock. So you mentioned the number here on the yeah. phone behind us. Are there other resources people should be aware of if they're going through a crisis. I there, mean, obviously there, there are, are numerous. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, sometimes police officers are, are sometimes those first responders. Right. So they have a lot of resources and they will either connect that person to 988, mm -hmm. which has a local call center. So they know exactly what resources here are locally. So they can connect you. It's anonymous, it's free, it's over the phone. They even do text messages. They have that about 20 hours a week, but eventually that'll be full time that they'll get, they'll be able to talk to people through text messages and then online chats through the website as well through 988 here in Wisconsin. Can I ask when, when what yeah. did the incident take place and, and how has the officer dealt with that type of experience? We're talking about resources available mm -hmm. for those in the crisis, but what do the officers do after a situation that they've been in like this? And so the officer, he's got four years under his belt. He said he's never been in a situation like this. Um, that's where his training, his right. empathy, his personality came through. Um, he said after this call, he went on to finish the rest of his shift. Um, he, sa he, he says that he um, can reach out. They have sources in sure. the, the police department to talk through some of these incidents yeah. and stuff. But, you know, they have services like this as well. And then locally they have the, this happened about a week ago. Okay. Sorry, I yeah. missed that <laughs> question. Um, but there's also the crisis center here. Okay. And so police have very good relationships. They know they're not the experts. Right. They're often sometimes those first responders. They know they're not the experts. They get them to the places they need. Brown County, every county has to have their own critical center 24 hours a day that takes right. people for whatever reason. That's the crisis center here locally. All right, uh, Brittany, thanks so much. An important story mm -hmm. coming up. You'll only see it tonight on Action 2 News.